my name is Lala Imam Verde and welcome to Dasty. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the beautiful and tasty, most fantastic shish kebabs. It's summertime and you know what that means? Bring out the grill. But you know what? I'm going to give your barbecuing a whole new meaning. Now, shish kebabs you most people are, are really accustomed to and it's a really big favorite of whomever I've spoken with, my family, my friends, and um, so you're going to learn how to do it. And believe me, you're going to impress the pants out of your friends and your family the next time you have a barbecue. Okay, so here I got all the ingredients. I have about, let's say, two and a half pounds of meat right here. And here are my spices. Now, when you go to a Persian store or any um, world market, you may find the packages that says shish kebab on them already. You know what? That's fine. But this is just my recipe. So here I've got about two tablespoon and a half. No, erase that. Two teaspoon and a half of salt. That will be too much salt. And about a teaspoon of garlic powder. I've got about half a teaspoon of a Persian mixed spice. It's called adivier. I like to add that in there. Now, about a tablespoon of turmeric, or maybe less, but I love turmeric, so I use a lot. And this little beautiful um, spice here, it's red and rich. It's called sumac. Now, sumac has this lemony flavor, and it adds such a great brightness to kebabs, and I love it. And of course, we've got pepper. Now, um, depending on your um, preference, I like it a little bit spicy, so it depends on you. Maybe half a teaspoon or quarter teaspoon of pepper. Now, all this is going to go in. All right, and there goes our spices. I've already have mixed in my food processor, or you can use a blender if you don't have a food processor, about two big whole onions, just like this. Peel them, cut them into pieces, and chop them in there. Now, I'm going to give you a big, big, huge secret. Uh, my secret, my tip to having some moist kebabs. Potato. Add about a quarter or half of, this is pretty big, maybe half, half of a half a potato, quarter of a potato. And um, it's going to give that beautiful, lush, smooth, and, um, great texture. It's not going to dry up on you. So we're going to add that in. All right. Now at this point, you're going to get messy. This is so much fun. Now get in there with your hands and we're going to mix. Now you're going to mix pretty darn well because it, all these ingredients and the onion and the potato, they all have to get incorporated. There we go. Now my uncle is the real pro of this. He has been making shish kebab since he was about five years old. And, um, you know, no one can come close to what he does. So I took it to myself and I said, okay, I've got to learn how to do this. I just stood there by watching and, you know, my own techniques, I really perfected it and it's fantastic. Now I'm using ground beef, but um, traditionally, most of the time I use half beef and half ground lamb. Now what the lamb does, again, it makes it really um, tender. The reason why you need to uh, mix this pretty well is because we don't want it falling off the skewer. Oops. Another tip guys, when we're trying to put it on the skewer, which I'm going to show you in a minute, if it falls apart 
or you can't get it on, the secret is adding about two to three tablespoons of um, breadcrumbs. Fresh or already mixed, doesn't matter. I like to use Italian breadcrumbs because it gives that little flavor, extra flavor that we like in that. Okay, so keep on mixing. Now what we like to do, what I like to do, traditionally you pick up the whole thing and you slam it down and you break the table. No, don't do that. <laughs> okay, so you got the idea. Now hand, no worries. I was gonna show you another secret, but oh well, paper towel will do. What you do, take a back of a butter knife and scrape off all the excess oil that is in your hands, the grease, and it makes it much easier to clean. But for now, that's okay. So traditionally, or what people, most people are accustomed to, is um, skewers, you know, tiny little skewers that, um, we put the kebabs on, shishas on. And you know what? Psh. Say hello to my new best friend. Oh yeah, Mua. This is my friend. Now this is the skewer that we use. Where you can get these, you can get them online or you can get them in a Persian store or um, world market. Um, but I think, yeah, they're, they're online. So do that. All right. I'm going to show you how to get the meat onto the skewer. Okay, hands clean. Well, mine is not, but we'll pretend it is. What we're going to do, if you're left-handed, so you're going to hold the skewer on your left hand. If you're right-handed, you're going to hold it on your right hand. So if you're right-handed, we're going to work with our left hand. What I do, pick out about size of a tennis ball to roll around kind of like smooth it around in your hand just like so making it into an oval shape this is what I like to do and then take your skewer you're going to press it in the middle just like so but don't go all the way in about three quarters of an inch in then you're going to wrap your fingers around and with your thumb with your four fingers in the back with your thumb pressing it and trying to press it against your fingers and on to the skewer see how that works now what you do make sure the bottom part is nicely secure and then you keep on push push pressing it up 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 to spread it out okay there we go. Now you guys, it takes lots of practice. So no worries if you don't get her first time. Just keep on doing it because this is so much fun to do. Okay, so here we go. Here we have it on the front side. Now when you turn it over, flip it over, you're going to see all this bunch right here. Now we're going to smooth the back side. Again, using our thumb, pushing it down. Kind of like making a twist, twist kind of turn with your hands and pulling it up. Okay, there we go. Now sometimes, like how my hands are greasy right now, have a little water dandy, handy dandy, right by your side. And what you do, just put some water in your hands and that is going to make it not stick to your hands. And then you can smooth it out even more. So here we go, just keep on pushing, doing, and turning it, and making it smoother as you go along, pushing it up. You don't want a whole bulk of one side, okay? I'm gonna do it again. Again, on the back side, when you're trying to smooth the back side, just try it kind of like a twisty. Twist it of your wrist and with your thumb. Now, traditionally, to give it a little a little um, shape. So I take my two fingers, just like so, it's like cutting scissors. Cut them, give it a little shape. Just like that. There we go. You got your beautiful shish kebab. Now, put that aside. I'm gonna do another one just to show you, okay? Take, a, take the sikh, what we call it, or shish, or skewer, whatever you wanna call it. 
about a tennis ball, or a little bit bigger, of the filling, the meat. Okay, here we go. So just toss it in your hand, just like that, and take the skewer, the sheesh, put it in the center, again, push with your thumb, and push it up and down. Preferably, we'd like to push it all the way up so we can get most of it on the upper side instead of the bottom because we want it to fit the grill. Okay, again, turn it over with your thumb, smoothing it out, pushing it, curving it in. There we go. You know, historians have dated the shish kebabs back to the Turkish, um, the Ottoman era. In Turkish, shish means, shish kebab actually, shish means anything that is cooked on a skewer. Any meat that is cooked on a skewer. There we go. Now smooth the bottom, make sure you really tighten the bottom and the top because we don't want it falling out. There we go. Give it a little texture, a little, 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 little dots of cutting like scissors. And there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Perfect. Okay. Now, I usually pair it with tomatoes. Same thing with the tomatoes. We're going to take the seek and we're going to put it in the tomatoes in the seek and or any vegetables, you know how to do those. Um, then we're going to go to the grill and I'm going to show you what they look like. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, um, this is a regular barbecue gas grill that we just modified. We disconnected the gas completely so no gas tank and no propane around. Then we put a stainless steel sheet metal on the bottom so the charcoal can rest on top without following, you know, the falling through. And, uh, um, and then we added the fan for the flow of air and the smoke. So it gives it a great, beautiful flavor for the kebabs. Now you can use um, regular gas or propane um, barbecue, that's totally fine. You know, when I'm lazy, I use that. But um, this just gives it a different smoky flavor to it. So it's up to you, whatever you like to use. And um, yeah, you can tell it's a barbecue day because all the kids are running around and playing and there's sound, sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what they look like. Now you see the grill is ready for us, for us to put the kebabs on. So what we do, just put them on just like that, side by side. And it takes about five minutes on each side, or, or less. So the key here is to um, turning it over constantly so they don't burn. Although I like anything smoked or have that little chart. Okay, so we got them all on here. We just have to wait. I'm just flipping them over right now. See how lovely they're looking. And you want to do this quickly as possible so they don't fall and also don't burn. Excellent. Ooh, looking great. And it smells fantastic. The kids are all here, everybody's ready. And it's such a great thing for kids because they keep, you can't go wrong. They just love kebabs. At least they eat something, right? All right, we just have to wait for a little bit and then we're going to flip them again. I'm making a little room for my tomatoes. Okay, there we go. Let's put this on here. Come over. Okay, guys, we're just keep on flipping them. See how lovely they look. Ooh, yummy! 
looking fantastic. The kids are all around waiting to eat. To come up. The skewer. And we have, I have a little flatbread or lavash on the bottom. So what it's going to do, that all the juices are going to render on that and it's going to be delicious. So what you do, I just take a little foil and then just pull it off just like that and place it on there. There you go. I'm gonna get some more. Aren't these looking great? Cool. Hello guys. Okay, this is our final presentation. Our kebabs are ready, our tomatoes are ready, and I've paired it with some saffron basmati rice, which is a traditional um, pairing for this. And you can refer to my episode three on how to make the rice. And you could either enjoy it now and then go dance or go dance and come back and enjoy this healthy and beautiful meal. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.